electricity bills can be expensive when running the aircon all day long and which is what I've been doing at the moment and this is because even though it's almost December the weather in Taiwan remains horrendously hot especially for someone who's been living in the UK so I thought to myself since most days I go on and grab an afternoon coffee anyways I might as well start sitting in and bring my work there to do in which will allow the aircon here to have a rest and so I've done some research and made a list of the cafes that look nice in my area but the list is rather long so I'm gonna try and cut down to let's say seven and for reference I'm in the Songshan district near the Taipei arena and before we head to the first cafe I recently picked up a few items from Uniqlo and I thought I'd integrate some outfits with these new pickups into when I'm going out to these cafes first let's do a haul so the first two items I got are these ribbed tank tops which I've been trying to get in the UK for a while now but they were just never in stock yeah I got in black and white well white and black and then next up again in black and white I got these what are they call they're called Supima cotton crew necks and then the Arizm oversized tee in white again I've been eyeing on these for a while now and I finally got it and they come in a number of colors and I really wanted to get this in a dark gray but it was out of stock so hopefully I can pick it up in the near future and lastly one of my favorite pieces this is the block tech trench coat I believe that's what it's called and I'm super excited to style this oh and I almost forgot I also picked up an umbrella you know essentials so the weather is sitting around 28 29 degrees today so I thought I would style these tank tops I'm gonna go with the black ones for today swapping a black for black And yeah, what I really like about these are the rib details. Just adds a little bit more detail and texture to an outfit. And I'm just gonna go with these Angaya trousers. They're wide enough so that even on the warmer days like today, it allows some airflow and doesn't get too hot down there. I still prefer the look of trousers over shorts. Just personal preference, I think it looks better. I've also been liking the slimmer top with wider bottoms. And how can I almost forget about the scent of today, which is Versace Poem. And this is an out of shower scent. It's very fresh, it smells clean, it's got some sage, neroli, and a little bit of tonka beans, but by all means, it's not a sweet scent at all. And this is actually my go-to chin scent as well, which I'm going later after I get my coffee. And then for the footwear, I'm gonna go with these black and white dunks. These will go well together with the outfit. And to keep to the black theme, of course, I'm gonna go with this black tote bag. Actually looking at myself in the mirror, I feel like these tank tops are a little bit loose. Well, maybe I'm just used to like really tight ones. I feel like for, for my style, tighter ones, fits the look I'm trying to go for better. I'm not quite sure if I can get it exchanged. Now I just ripped all the labels apart, but I will go and ask and maybe exchange it for a smaller size. But for today, I won't be wearing these anymore. I'll just be switching back to what I had on before. And this was from m &S. I like this fit a lot better. So anyways, <laughs> this is the look now. Still the dunks, still the pengaya trousers and the tote bag. So let's go to the first cafe. <laughs> I went out last night so I'm desperately in need of a coffee right now and it's already around noon so I'm gonna look through the list and find somewhere that I can get some food maybe a sandwich or something and it's extra hot today and so I'm just gonna go for something more casual and I'm actually gonna go with shorts today just gonna build a casual comfortable outfit 
and then going for the new Uniqlo U oversized Arizon T. And before I put on the bracelet, the scent of the day, which I'm going for the Chanel Allure on Sport Oak Tree, which I've mentioned numerous times on the channel already. Yeah, I just wanted to go for a fresh scent today as I feel like I need to freshen up. And so now I'm just gonna put on this pearl bracelet. I actually wore the pearl necklace yesterday on the night out and I was wearing all black with pearls and I feel very odd being on the MRT. A lot of people were looking but once I was at the club it was fine. But yeah, I feel like you need to be confident enough to wear what you like and it doesn't matter if people are judging you. I need to sit down to put this on. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I just wanted to mention the main thing that I like about this tee is the cut. It's quite different to my other t-shirts where this is more boxy, it's got longer sleeves and I like how it's not too long. And you know what, since it's a relaxing day for me to recover, I'm gonna go with these Birkenstocks. And the sun is out, it's hot and I just wanna be comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for the washing to be done, hang everything up and then head out to the cafe. I'm going to the opticians today, which is where I used to go when we lived here. But the only thing is that it's quite a journey and it's gonna take me 40 to 50 minutes to get there. So I thought for today's cafe, we're gonna find somewhere near there to go to. And I'm gonna go for an all black outfit today. So starting off with these weekday trousers. I'm hoping that I won't be too warm in these, but again, I just like the look of trousers a lot better than shorts. And then for the top today, I'm gonna wear this black Suprema cotton t-shirt from Uniqlo. And again, this t-shirt is on the slimmer side. I, I like how a slimmer t-shirt adds contrast to an outfit, especially when the bottoms are of a wider silhouette. And before we move on, to the scent of today. I couldn't help myself but to try this coat on in which I found it a little bit small. Let me show you. So it's not too bad with the t-shirt on and I actually really like the fit of it as it is. But it becomes a problem when put on a sweater underneath. As you can see, I feel like the main issue are the sleeves. It's just a little bit short and I couldn't figure out why because I tried this on when I was in the UK and usually over here you go a size up and it's the same. So over there I tried a small and it was perfect. So I went for medium here and then I just, again, I feel like the sleeves are shorter than I remembered. So I double checked online and I actually found out the version here, all the measurements are the same, except the sleeve length and they're slightly shorter for some reason. And so I thought maybe going a size up would be better for the sleeves. I'll be exchanging this for a large instead and hopefully it'll be better fit. I'm obviously not wearing this out today. It is still in the high 20s. So this is definitely too warm and great. I have a lot of fluff on me now because of the hoodie. And I'm gonna go for a fresh scent today since the weather is still on the warmer side. It's not quite suitable for the sweeter, more intense scents just yet. And this is the YSLY Le Parfum. And I'm actually not gonna go with these pearl braces today for change because I feel like I've been wearing it way too much. So I'm just gonna keep it monochromatic today with a hint of silver. Hence, I'm gonna wear this Gucci ring. And I did think to go with boots as I think it makes it a good look but I feel like it's slightly too formal for a little chill day out so I'm just gonna go with these air forces 
So when I said I was gonna go for all black fit, I changed my mind. And I thought I would go for this beige toe back instead of the black, just to add a bit more color and a bit more life to the outfit. And yeah, I'm gonna pack the camera now and then head out. I'm running a bit short on time for the coffee now, so I will get going. So I just got back from the gym. We're gonna get changed and get ready for the cafe. So we're gonna start off with the trousers. I've practically been living in these. They are the Pangea Cargo Linen Blend Trousers. So it's very much due to the breathability of them and they have a wider silhouette. So they allow airflow within. And again, it's still super hot in Taiwan. And then for the Uniqlo piece of the day, we're going for the standard Suprema cotton t-shirt. And this outfit I'm going for is actually one that I've been wearing a lot recently. It's probably my go-to outfit at the moment, to be honest. Every other day I'm rocking this. Yeah, I just love the contrast of the wide trousers with a slimmer top. It gives off a more sophisticated, elegant vibe, in my opinion. And for the scent of the day, this is actually a new scent. This is the Wasso Le Duin de Lome Blue Electric, in which I recently picked up. And so the review will come later in the video. I might as well go for the go-to pro bracelet, which I've been wearing at the moment. I don't really like wearing rings when it's like really hot outside, just because my, my fingers swell up and it just gets uncomfortable. So sticking with just the bracelet for today. And then before we get on the shoes, I actually got to go to Uniqlo to swap out some of the sizes, including this majestic coat. I got to pack all this and hopefully they accept it. And then the shoes, this outfit just goes perfectly with these. I like how the trousers kind of just gently drapes over the top. I've been digging the look of it a lot. The fragrance review of Why So La Nuit de Lome Blue Electric. And I picked this up over the summer and it must have been one of the few left in stock since it has been discontinued for a year now, I believe. So I was quite fortunate to pick this up. And the other edition, the La Nuit de Lome, is actually one of my favorites. It was my signature scent for a while when I first started on my fragrance journey. So the main notes in both are the lavender and cardamom. But the problem with the other one was that the longevity was poor, as in it didn't last long and it didn't project that much either, but it was just a great scent. Whereas this has improved longevity and it's definitely more intense. For me, this is like a modern twist to the original Le Nuit de Lome. It is more fresh and clean and still lavender heavy, but I think the cardamom is just slightly more subtle in this. 
than the other one because it's more fresh it makes it more versatile you could wear this all year round day and night without a problem and it remains one of the sexiest scents out there so i've been enjoying wearing this a lot recently especially in taiwan where the weather is warmer i think it suits this better i still prefer the scent profile on the Lunuit de Lome slightly more but that one is only for the night time as i said the longevity is not great so you have to overspray on it i have two other ones from the Lome line as i mentioned the Lunuit de Lome and the YZ Lome that was one of my favorites as well so the line is superb so for those who would want to get this, I would suggest if you can't buy from retail, you might as well just get the Le Nuit de Lome as personally, I still like that scent a little bit better. But yeah, that concludes the fragrance review for this episode. Leave a like down below if this is something you want to see more as I have a lot more to talk about on fragrances.